Linus Tech Tips coverage of CES 2014 is brought to you by NCIX.com, your source for great technology, selection, and service, along with Corsair Memory and Western Digital. Here in the ASUS suite, they've got a number of cool demos running. We're going to start with the components. So first up is the ROG front base. So this is a dual bay display slash knob slash front panel connectors device that allows you to control your overclock, monitor fan speeds, control fan speeds, as well as pass through your front audio. It adds another USB connector to the front, and it uses the same interface as... Da, 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 right there, the OC panel. So it's compatible with the Rampage 4 Black Edition as well as any of the Z87 motherboards that feature that OC panel header connector. The second thing in here is one that I'm actually personally a little bit more excited about. This is the ASUS Poseidon GTX 780. Now there will be a 780 Ti version that I've heard rumblings about, but basically guys, the Poseidon concept, which we first saw at Computex, is an air cooling slash liquid cooling hybrid product. Now ASUS is telling me that from an air cooling perspective, the Poseidon only runs a handful of degrees warmer than a regular card that doesn't have the built-in liquid cooling. And while they're not giving us an exact number, with these standard G1 quarter fittings and the ability to hook it up to whatever liquid cooling system you could possibly want, I can assure you that if you're going from air and you're thinking about upgrading to liquid, it's gonna be uh, worth a look to consider the ability to easily add liquid cooling to it if, and if, if all you're sacrificing is a couple of degrees when you're running on air. Next up, we've got what looks like a standard ASUS Z87 Deluxe board, except no, this one has some pretty different looking connectors on the bottom corner here. This is the first time I've seen SATA Express in person. Now, what the connector looks like is three discrete connectors all next to each other, but they actually serve as one interface to a single drive. So two of them look like standard SATA 3 connectors, and then there is a third that actually is a direct PCI Express 2x link. So what this enables, once you connect a drive to it, is transfer speeds of up to 1,000 megabytes per second or one gigabyte per second. So we're finally getting to the point where we are removing the SATA 3 bottleneck that exists on many modern SSDs without taking up a PCI Express slot at the back of the case by going with something like an ASUS Raider or other PCIe SSD solution. Rounding out our components showcase, we've got the Thunderbolt EX2. Now, going back to Z77 even, we've seen these TB underscore header ports on ASUS motherboards that promised the ability to add Thunderbolt 1 to your motherboard as an, as an aftermarket upgrade option. Now, we never actually saw that productized, and I, maybe it was a certification issue or something like that. So for me personally, I was like, oh, that's a little disappointing because I was kind of hoping that we'd see that. Well, guys, it's here now. This is Thunderbolt. Thunderbolt EX2, and you can plug it into the TB header, plug it into a PCI Express slot, and you can actually add Thunderbolt connectivity to any ASUS motherboard that has that TB underscore header, even the older ones. So the older TB underscore header is just as compatible with Thunderbolt 2 as it was with Thunderbolt 1, so you can get that full 20 gigabit per second connectivity. Now, speaking of 20 gigabit per second connectivity, ASUS is also showing off their <clears throat> okay, now this one's this one's got a bit of an odd name on it. So this is their Z87 Deluxe Quad, which has two Thunderbolt 2 connectors. So the quad rationales, this is four times the potential total bandwidth that you would get with a single Thunderbolt 1 connector. Now, <laughs> speaking of total bandwidth, in order to even demo this, they grabbed a couple of ASUS Raiders. They built a custom PCB here. So you can see we've got a daisy chain coming out from the back of the board and then from one Raider to the second Raider. And then they're using a real-time test to show you data throughput of these two cards together on Thunderbolt. Thunderbolt 2. Now to be clear, Thunderbolt 2 is actually capable of even higher speeds than this, but it just should give you some idea of what we're looking at in terms of capability of this technology moving forward. And that is running off of just one of the Thunderbolt 2 ports on this motherboard. Of course, there are two of them, which makes it the quad motherboard. 
So thanks for checking out our ASUS Component Suite update here at CES 2014. Remember, our trip to the show is powered by NCIX.com, your source for great technology selection and service, as well as Corsair Memory and Western Digital. Without those partners, we wouldn't be able to be here bringing you guys these videos. So a huge thanks to them.